Time travel is defined as the act of traveling through time into the past or the future. As of now, scientists theorize that time travel can be split into three potential ways. A fixed timeline, a dynamic timeline, or a multiverse timeline. So I'm going to break down each of these for you right now. A fixed timeline proposes that time is linear and set in stone. Any changes you make to the past won't matter because we will ultimately end up with the same result. Let's say you make it so that the creator of the soda, Dr. Pepper, never made Dr. Pepper. A fixed timeline is where, even then, somehow, the person that is supposed to create Dr. Pepper still creates Dr. Pepper, and your actions made no difference. You traveling back in time and modifying things was already a part of the timeline, and you are simply fulfilling your predetermined role. Meaning it might be cool to have a time machine and to feel like you're making a change, but in actuality, everything you're doing is exactly what was supposed to happen. Because of everything I've explained, I feel like the Mandela Effect has the least chance of existing on a fixed timeline. Time travel interference wouldn't change anything outside of exactly what was supposed to happen. I'm sure someone out there could speculate an example where the Mandela Effect could exist, but this kind of timeline seems like the most unlikely. The second potential way time travel could exist is the dynamic timeline. Any changes you made to the past will absolutely affect the future. Let's use Dr. Pepper again. If you make it so that the creator of Dr. Pepper never made Dr. Pepper, we simply wouldn't have Dr. Pepper today. Perhaps some other brand would have taken its place. Perhaps Coke or Pepsi would instead have gained a larger market share. Whatever the case, the change in the past absolutely has an effect on the future. In a dynamic timeline, the Mandela Effect makes perfect sense. Changes to the past will cause differences in the future. The third theory of time travel is the multiverse timeline. The multiverse timeline theorizes an infinite number of parallel universes. Because of this, your actions will only have an effect on whatever timeline you're on. So for example, let's use Dr. Pepper one last time. In the multiverse, every combination of Dr. Pepper existing, not existing, being slightly different, being vastly different, and every other differing variation exists in some timeline. In the multiverse timeline, the Mandela effect could be perfectly explained by saying we are shifting back and forth through parallel timelines. Shifting to a different timeline could result in vast differences or something as simple as a logo being slightly different. It's a really goofy thought, but that's the theory.